Hello and welcome, John Croner with Bullseye Trader, and I'd like to welcome you to the Artificial Intelligence Holiday and Market Update for Tuesday, January the 8th, 2019. And before we get started, I just want to direct your attention to uh, our free webinar uh, events, and you can even watch the archives. Here's the link right here. Uh, you know, this uh, software is pretty sophisticated. It has an awful lot of benefits, and Trade Ideas offers a lot of free webinars that will help you learn how to use this, and they do a market review every day also, so it's a great place to, to go. Uh, just go to this link right here, and you can subscribe to all these webinars. We have webinars Monday through Thursday starting at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, and on Friday we have uh, a training session that goes from 11 to 2. Uh, it's kind of an interactive session. And then there's also uh, training uh, on, on the other days. Uh, I believe it starts at 11 o'clock as well. So a lot of great resources for you to, to learn about this software. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in and see uh, what happened uh, today. And we can see here that the diamonds uh, got uh, kind of a, you know, a spinning uh, top kind of candle here. Uh, you know, but the bottom line is a lot of volatility, but we closed near highs, uh, third straight day in a row. And you're going to see this across the boards. We had three up days in a row, which is the first time in a while that that has happened. So that's a, uh, a very uh, good uh, sign uh, for the uh, bull side of things. The IWM, you can see here, closed right at highs. Uh, you know, volume wasn't real, real strong, but... Uh, you know, where I come from, price is king, and, uh, you know, that that's all that matters. Uh, so IWM, a little bit of volatility, not as much as with the diamonds, but uh, closed rated highs. The spiders uh, kind of look a lot like what the diamond uh, candle looked like, but uh, bottom line is it closed near highs and looking good. Uh, stayed above that uh, 20 moving average. The Qs uh, have another candle that looks the same. Well, I mean, look at the volatility within the day, though. So, uh, you know, uh, the day traders are, are loving this. They can get a lot of uh, quick action. But if you're not quick enough, you better be careful because uh, it can turn on you in a hurry. And then you blink your eyes and it's right back the other way. So, uh, you know, very, very nice uh, market uh, today for the bull side. Now let's go ahead and jump into Holly and see how Holly's looking. Holly Grill had eight trades today for a profit of 81 cents, risk on profit $1.31. Her best trade was ADNT, a long Sunrise Mover. Look over here, Sunrise Mover uh, only had one pick today. Normally a 61.4% win percentage, today 100% because it, it won. Uh, and uh, you can see here where uh, she got into it. She got out for a timed exit, 63 cents. And then had you held it till the end of the day, you would have had 57 cents. And that was the best in both categories. Holly 2.0 had eight trades for a profit of $1.34. And risk on profit was a dollar twenty-eight. And if we take a look at it, her best trade was DCPH. And uh, here you can see it. Here she got in uh, and uh, made a uh, fifty-three cents on a time dex. And had you stayed in till the end of the day, just eight cents profit. Her best trade in the risk on category was a short ALLK. And uh, you can see here that was downward dog. And uh, her normal batting average is 66.4. Today she batted 50%. But on this particular trade, she made 46 cents on it, got out for a time exit, risk on 71 cents. Now let's go ahead and move these charts up high so we can get a look at the Holly Neo and see how she did. 17 trades, loss of 11 cents, and her risk on profit 319. So in the risk on category, she was on fire. Her best one was IART, which was uh, got out for a target hit of a dollar. And if I remember, that target was hit almost instantaneous. It did pull back, you know, quite a bit, and then uh, it, it took off again from there. And her, uh, you know, risk on profit was a dollar twenty-nine, and that was the best of both categories. She also had another nice long trade, WPC, made a dollar fourteen in risk on. And like we talk about a lot of times, she got out for reduced risk. Actually, took a penny loss. 
and then it uh, took off and she uh, made a dollar and 14 cents on it on the risk on category now let's go ahead and bring in the Excel spreadsheet that we like to take a look at and as you can see here we had 33 trades for today two dollars and four cent profit risk on profit of 578 so that's very very nice for Holly and uh, for the week so far she's at 77 trades 360 profit 895 is the risk on profit now just as a reminder if you want to follow me on my blog you can do that at bullseyetrader.com you can always like me on facebook follow me on twitter or stock twits if you got anything out of this video we'd sure appreciate your giving us a thumbs up uh, maybe uh, you know uh, share it with friends and relatives that would be awesome if you haven't already consider hitting that subscribe button and then go ahead and hit that alarm that way you're notified every time we post to youtube and hey I want to thank you for watching and God bless.